The city of Coimbra in Portugal has one of the oldest universities in Europe that houses one of the world's grandest and most unique libraries, an 18th century Baroque masterpiece. This is the home of Joanina, considered to be one of the most beautiful libraries in the world. São três salas relativamente pequenas, mas muitíssimo ricas. The library has three rooms, not very large, but very detailed in terms of decoration, especially when it comes to their symbolism. The first room, for example, is designed with the idea that a library is something that should be shared with all people. The central figure on the ceiling has one hand removing a book from the bookshelf and the other offering an open book. And around this central figure, the four corners of the world are represented. Europe, America, Asia and Africa. Showing just how Coimbra University is committed to sharing knowledge of the world and with the world. Sem limites pelos quatro cantos do mundo conhecido. The library was built in the spirit of Illuminism during the first half of the 18th century and is named after its patron, King John V of Portugal. The king was a patron of the arts, very interested in libraries. Although the construction was entirely paid by the university, the king wanted to give inputs and ideas. He ordered his business agents to collect architectural plans of libraries all over Europe for inspiration. The two lower levels and the main room are home to more than 60,000 books published between the 16th and 19th centuries. All the books that are here are called antique books, which were written during the period of manual production of paper and typography. We have all kinds of books. Naturally, there are a lot of law books. Civil and canon law were always very strong schools at Cambria University. Hidden stairs inside fake marble arches lead to the mezzanines. To reach the higher shelves, there are wooden ladders with a smart design. They can be tucked away in between the bookcases. This section is off limits to visitors. This building was very well conceived and is naturally very stable. The walls are two meters thick. If there were not hundreds of thousands of tourists visiting every year, it would probably still be an extremely stable building and the books would not be threatened. However, with the growth in tourism in the last few years, we began to notice some changes in temperature, humidity and even the level of dust in the air and none of these conditions are good for the books. Each year, half a million people visit the Joanina. Only 60 people at one time are allowed into the library every 20 minutes. And they can only stay in the main room for not more than 10 minutes. Today, the visitation starts in the lower level. So the tourists have to cross two floors before getting into the main room, which helps controlling the dust levels. In addition, a cleaning team vacuums the carpet in between the visits. Temperatures and humidity levels are constantly monitored as well. There is also a small army of allies that live behind the bookcases and eat insects. A colony of bats. We know the bats have been here since the 18th century because the first purchases of large leather sheets date back to that time. But if we would rely only on the bats, we would have huge infestation problem. To preserve the books, one thing is essential, cleaning. And that's why the library recently purchased a nitrogen chamber where books spent 21 days being sanitized. We do our best to keep the doors of the Joaina Library open to the public. We hope that people will be able to enjoy this treasure for a long time without jeopardizing its treasure, even by doing so unconsciously. Inconscientemente.